Once upon a time, in a forest, lived a man and a woman who longed for a baby. Their love was so big that after many years of prayers, a beautiful baby girl appeared in their life and finally they became a family. They named her Rapunzel. Because of the father's mistake, the baby was taken away by an old witch and locked her in a tower. After several years, Rapunzel grew up to become a girl with a beautiful face and long blonde hair. The tower had no door and only one window. To get into the tower, the witch must climb up the girl's hair. Every day, lonely Rapunzel sat by the window, looked up at the blue sky and sang songs. One day, a prince in a purple cloak was passing by riding a horse with a long tail and heard Rapunzel's beautiful voice. The prince hid and waited. When he saw the hunchback witch with a stick leaving the tower, he ran under the window and called Rapunzel. She told him to climb up with the help of her hair. It wasn't easy, but fortunately, his arms and legs were very strong. But fortunately, his arms and legs were strong enough. They became friends, and soon after, the prince asked Rapunzel to marry him and she happily agreed. When the witch found out about the proposal, her anger had no limit. She put the girl on the floor, took scissors into her hands, and cut off Rapunzel's hair, and then cast her out into the wilderness. The next day, the witch hung girl's ponytail out of the window. When the prince arrived, he climbed up as usual. How surprised he was to find out that his beloved wasn't there. The witch threw him out the window with satisfaction. The prince started to fall down through the clouds. Fortunately, nothing bad happened to him. So he was okay. The very sad prince took his sword and wandered for a long time through the woods, hoping to find Rapunzel. Finally, he saw her as she was sitting on the grass under a big tree with long branches. Her eyes were filled with tears. But when the prince hugged her, Rapunzel's hair grew back. Wow. He took her to his palace, gave her a ring, and finally they got married and lived happily ever after. Rapunzel. One summer day, a girl called Alice put on a pretty blue dress with a ribbon and then went for a walk. She saw a white rabbit with big ears and a fluffy tail talking to himself. She was curious, so she followed him 
and fell down into a rabbit hole, losing her shoe. Surprised to arrive at a rabbit's house, Alice looked around with her big eyes. She saw a bed and a table with a green cloth. Her hand reached for a bottle with the writing that said, Drink me. Hmm. Alice drank it and immediately grew so big that her head got stuck on the ceiling. The rabbit wearing a red jacket and trousers came down the staircase and gave her a piece of cake to make her small again. So the girl ate it and got back to normal size. She ran out of the rabbit's house. Walking around the meadow with beautiful flowers, she met a caterpillar who was sitting on a big mushroom. He invited Alice for a tea party at the Mad Hatter's house. After the tea party, the girl met the Queen of Hearts wearing a golden crown. They played crockett using white birds with long beaks and necks. To Alice's joy, she won the game, but the Queen of Hearts got very angry. Alice was taken to the court where the Queen of Hearts sitting on her throne and holding a spectre ordered her army with long spears to behead the girl. But Alice told the soldiers that they were not real but only playing card games and she wasn't afraid of them. Chased by the Queen's soldiers, Alice started to run away through the hills covered with grass and plants. Suddenly, the girl woke up, looked into the sky and realized that she was still lying by the rock on the riverbank. It was all a dream. Alice told her sister about all the wonderful things she saw in Wonderland. Her sister listened with pleasure and when Alice finished her story, both girls went home for a tea. Once upon a time, there was a red-haired boy named Jack who lived in the countryside with his widowed mother. They were very poor and they had only a cow which stayed inside the fence. One morning, the mother asked Jack to sell the cow in the market. On his way, on his way there, Jack met an old man in a hat, white shirt, and green pants. He offered some magic seeds of bean in exchange for the cow. Jack agreed to put them in the bag. Jack agreed to put them in the bag. When his mother saw the beans instead of money, she got very angry. What have you done, my silly son? Mother said, and then she opened the wooden shutters and threw the beans out the window. Next morning, Jack saw a giant beanstalk in the garden. It had grown from the magic seeds. It rose high into the sky and the boy started to climb up the huge plant. Jack kept climbing till he saw a road 
up on a hill leading to a beautiful castle with many towers. He got inside through a big gate and went up the staircase. Suddenly, he heard someone shouting, Who? Who? Ha! Ha! So the boy hid in a cupboard. Jack was peeking through a hole in the cupboard and he saw a hen and a harp on the table. The giant came and ordered, lay. Then the hen laid a golden egg. Next, the giant said, sing for me. The harp started to play beautiful music. The giant laid his head down on his arms and fell asleep. The room was softly lit by candles burning in the chandelier. Jack came out and took the hen and the harp. But the instrument cried, Master, help me. So the giant woke up and got furious. With fear in his eyes, Jack rushed and started to climb down, but the giant followed him. When the boy saw his house, he started to shout, Mom, help me! Finally, as Jack reached the ground, his mother cut the beanstalk with an axe. So the giant fell down, losing his helmet and died. With the magic hen and heart, Jack and his mother lived happily ever after.